Okay, Jeff, we are on to watch number two. So, the bullhead. The bullhead is ready and is up. So, so great to see these JDM speed timers. They were not looming all of their watches at the time, so the ones definitely from Japan have the solid baton hands with paint, white paint and the uh, painted indices, which is super neat. Okay, let's get this one going. Kosha Limited, very Japanese, domestic. I don't know if you can make this out, but there are definitely a few scratches there around these sub-registers. Let's see if we can get that in focus there. So, just to let you know, I don't want you to feel that there was any damage done here. You can see someone was not as careful as they could have been with the removal, hand removal process. We will not add to the damage. Okay. So, dial date is 7 1, and your case back date is 7 2. So that's completely consistent and exactly as we would expect. Okay, that's teardown complete on your bullhead. So we're gonna hand clean a few parts, look at all the jewels here and make sure everybody's in good shape. And then uh, it's off to the cleaner. And then we'll be back. We're back. All right, you are out of the cleaner. All of your parts have been thoroughly inspected and cleaned and are ready to go. Got a couple trays here of goodies and parts. It's a lot of little pieces. All right, so we're gonna start getting it all back together.
All right. Well, let's get it on the time grapher and see how it's doing. Okay, well, this isn't a bad place to start. We're uh, really with a good bead error straight out of the chute and pretty good amplitude to start with. Things are breaking in, so let's get just things regulated and get it back down a little bit in terms of the rate. See how that looks. It's going to fluctuate around a little bit, but uh, that's just the lubrication kind of finding its spot. <clears throat> okay. Doing pretty good. All right, this is a nice, nice starting point. So we're going to just kind of let this work its way, watch the numbers evolve, looks really clean so that's a, always a nice place to be. Alright, we're going to come back, looking good. Okay, now it's time to put your dial and hands back on and then we'll be ready to finish. I'll be back. Okay, Jeff. We are right here at the end. We're gonna put the last few parts in place. back seal in place. Let's look. All right, well here it is. Your lovely 6138 Bullhead JDM Speed Timer. Such a nice watch. All right, well Overall, uh, everything went very, very well. There was nothing really to, to do with your, with your movement other than to do the service. Um, cosmetically, everything is, is quite good. You still have all of your original brushing and all of the um, lovely features of this 70s classic. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, yeah, not much else to report your... Um, your chronograph is now functioning properly. Um, it was really just down to an adjustment. So you should see this should be just moved off the 12 because we're a few minutes into the timing. Um, if I reset, it will go back. And I've tested and it is it remains at the vertical position uh, as the watch is not in the chronograph state. So that's exactly what you had asked for and that's what it's doing. Um, just to go over the things that we did replace, um, nothing more than a, a crystal uh, case back seal and your crown and pusher seals which were like pieces of glass. So those are all nicely tucked in there. There's your little packet to go home. Uh, I went ahead and just cleaned your bracelet. I put it through the sonicator and so it's ready to go back on and it will it'll be on when when the watch comes back. Okay, well that's uh, that's watch number two. So now we're going to move on to your jumbo and uh, that'll be watch number three and then we'll be done. All right, I'll be in touch. Thanks for watching.